we're going to create a game called Hoppy Beaver. It's a lot like a game you may have heard of or even played, Flappy Bird, but it's got a few differences too. In this game, the user can control a beaver, making it hop up so that it can grab sticks to make its den. Here's what it looks like to play. You just push the up button to jump, and gravity or a certain variable pulls the hopper back down. So let's walk through how we might make this game step by step. First, let's think about the different components of the game, what we might find in many other games. So, number one would be the playable character. We only have one playable character, and that's the beaver. That character has some different behaviors, like hopping and falling, which we'll need to implement in our own version. Number two, any non-playable characters. Many games, oh, also these are called NPCs. Many games have NPCs, which are programmatically controlled and present an obstacle to the character. The only obstacle in this game is the environment, though. There are no NPCs, and that simplifies things. Number three would be the environment. This is a side-scroller type game, where we can see a 2D world that is scrolling by us with a clear blue sky, ground, and grass. That sky is filled with sticks that can be collected. And then we have the overall mission. The beaver must hop to grab sticks, and she can't hop too high or too low, or she won't pick up each stick, as you can see. The collisions will be pretty precise. The goal is to get to the end of the level with enough sticks to make a nest, maybe 95% of the sticks. Whenever you design a game, you should think through components like that. In fact, game design documents are often many pages long. I've written a very concise version here, just as an example. We'll be implementing each component of the game in roughly that order in the next few videos, so stick around. I'll see you in the next video.